What is community choice aggregation and should you be worried? Perhaps you've seen posts about it on Facebook or you got a letter in the mail. Are CCAs good or are they bad? Nobody seems to know. Welcome to the Drone Quote YouTube channel. I'm your host, Sinue, and today we will be discussing Community Choice Aggregation, or CCA, a unique and innovative approach to electricity procurement that has gained popularity across the United States. CCAs initially came out about in the mid-90s, as did some of the greatest rap albums. So naturally, CCAs merit some scrutiny. In this video, we will cover the key features of CCAs and explore both their advantages and potential drawbacks. Let's dive in. First, let's give context as to how CCAs compare to traditional utilities. CCAs are established and governed by local governments, while traditional utility companies are investor-owned or publicly owned entities regulated by state public utilities commissions. It is important to note that while CCAs are regulated at the state and local level, they often have more autonomy in energy procurement and pricing than traditional utility companies. Additionally, traditional utility companies still retain responsibility for maintaining and operating the distribution infrastructure, or in other words, how electricity gets to your house. Regarding autonomy, CCAs can devise their own energy procurement and pricing decisions, while traditional utilities must adhere to state and federal regulations and public utility commission guidelines. This means a CCA can choose to buy energy from a specific source, even if that source may cost the customer more money. All this electricity has to come from somewhere. CCAs procure electricity while traditional utilities handle electricity generation and distribution. CCAs often prioritize renewable energy and local economic development, whereas traditional utilities focus on providing reliable electricity at the lowest possible cost to them. While customers are automatically enrolled in CCAs with an opt-out option, traditional utility customers have no choice in their provider unless they live in a deregulated market or a CCA is available in that market. Okay, that tells you a little bit about community choice aggregation, but where's the benefit of a CCA? In theory, you get competitive pricing. By pooling the electricity demand of our large group of customers, CCAs can leverage economies of scale to negotiate better rates and terms with electricity suppliers. This increased bargaining power can lower consumer costs, making electricity more affordable for the community. We've seen some of this in CCAs in the Southern California market, and I think they were great. CCAs offer renewable energy options. A focus on sustainability enables customers to support clean energy development, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and contribute to a cleaner environment. Moreover, by promoting renewable energy, CCAs can help create local jobs and stimulate economic development in the region. This may lead to an increased investment in renewable energy infrastructure and innovation, further driving the clean energy sector's growth. CCAs are pliable, or they seem to be, allowing local governments to make decisions about electricity sources and pricing based on their community's specific needs and values. This can result in tailored energy programs that better align with the preferences of the end consumers. You're not married to this setup with a CCA because they typically have an opt-out mechanism, meaning customers are automatically enrolled but can choose to return to the traditional utility service they had earlier. This offers consumers the flexibility to make their own decisions about their electricity suppliers. Plus, this means CCAs must work to provide competitive rates and services to their customers in order to retain their participation. And if you happen to have a community-oriented motive, CCAs often involve a higher degree of community engagement and participation in the decision-making process. This can foster a sense of ownership and pride among end consumers, knowing that their electricity choices align more closely with their values and priorities. So are CCAs good or are they bad? While CCAs offer several potential benefits to end consumers, it is important to note that outcomes may vary depending on various factors, starting with state level regulations and policies. But more importantly, because CCAs operate in a manner that is different than utilities, a good or bad lens seems to be a lot more subjective in this matter, wouldn't you say? Here's the thing though, 
These CCAs have been around for a while and it doesn't seem like they're going away. I'm super curious what you think, or if you happen to live in an area that offers a CCA, what has been your experience? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, please gently click on the subscribe button. I'd appreciate the feedback. Until next time, hasta la vista, baby.